everyone. I thought I'd better um, end this vlog, which has had very little reading in it. But I did actually finish a book. I finished this book, The Battle for Paradise by Naomi Klein. And the subtitle is Puerto Rico Takes on the Disaster Capitalist. This is a very little a nonfiction volume. It's about 80 pages long and it's basically just a long essay about what happened in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. And this I found extremely interesting. I don't know an awful lot about the politics in Puerto Rico. I've been learning a lot more from Alba over at Siriella and some of the stuff I've been reading in the last couple of years. But basically Naomi Klein takes on um, the two factions who are battling it out for how the political system in Puerto Rico is going to proceed at this point. And so basically what's happening is you've got the citizens of Puerto Rico who are interested in self-governance and um, dealing with climate change and dealing with social justice and things like that, equitable use of the resources of Puerto Rico and basically being able to have self-determination and self-rule. And those sides, Naomi Klein is very clearly um, supportive of and some of the case studies she talks about the different organizations and community activism that's happening around those things were really uplifting and hopeful to read about. On the other hand are the powers that be basically whose goal it is to make as much money as they possibly can off Puerto Rico without uh, without allowing Puerto Ricans themselves to have any power politically. So this includes the United States government and the governor of Puerto Rico and basically these sort of capitalists, these billionaires and millionaires that want to use Puerto Rico for a tax shelter um, or as a place where they can come live in the beautiful tropics and just use it as a base to base their, uh, you know, the technology or their internet based businesses that they can just make money from and not pay any taxes and not have to worry about um, basically how the people who actually are from Puerto Rico and who have always lived in Puerto Rico are going to survive. And I just found this fascinating. I think this is a great uh, basically summary of what's going on in Puerto Rico today. It does reference briefly sort of the past issues of colonialism and um, austerity measures that were forced upon Puerto Ricans with the um, installation of a, uh, uh, I forget what the name of the board is, some kind of financial board that was set up during Obama's administration that was supposed to help Puerto Rico sort of deal with their debt issues um, and all of that you can see where the injustices lie and where Puerto Rican actual Puerto Rican people who live in Puerto Rico the regular everyday people are being um, treated so in you know this is such an inequality and an injustice that is happening to these folks I just found this really really uh, angering and also enlightening. Um, so I definitely would highly uh, recommend that you pick up The Battle for Paradise. I really like Naomi Klein's writing. I read her book, This Changes Everything About Capitalism and Climate Change. I definitely recommend that book as well. I think she does really excellent writing around um, environmentalist and economic issues and really lays things out in a well done way. Now, I didn't finish anything else on our little journey down to Boston this long weekend, but I was reading, um, uh, excuse me, Uncle Tom's Cabin uh, by Harriet Beecher Stowe. That is my latest classic read from my long classics list that I've been trying to read over the last 25 or 30 years. And I'm, uh, I'm about 100 pages into Uncle Tom's Cabin. I'm reading it. Um, in ebook format. I will stick a picture of it up here. Um, everybody knows what Uncle, Tom Cab Uncle Tom's Cabin is about. It was written during um, the time of slavery by a white woman to uh, showcase the injustices that were happening to people being held against their will um, and made to work to basically enrich the lives of white folks. Um, and I had tried to read this book many years ago and couldn't get past like the inherently racist language that it was written with because it is written in the vernacular of the 1800s um, and I just couldn't at the time read it uh, and then so I started it again with a lot of trepidation but I'm finding the story actually to be really easy to read this time around I mean it is heavily there are some issues that I'm having with it and I'll get into those later the further I get into it 
we'll see how it goes. Um, I think there are some problems with it, probably because it was written by a white woman. Um, and I am also uh, reading another book for the BookTube Prize, which I can't talk about right now. So just know that the book that I'm reading for the BookTube Prize is going really well. I'm really loving it. So that's what I've been reading this weekend. We had a fabulous time on our trip to Boston. I hope that you've enjoyed the little video clips um, that I showed earlier. It was our first train ride, um, first time taking the train to Boston from Maine, and we loved that experience. We would definitely do it again. Um, it was our first time as a family going to an NBA basketball game. We also enjoyed that a lot and we would definitely do that again as well. Um, so overall A plus experience um, and we had a fabulous time. So I hope you've enjoyed the vlog and I will talk with you later.